Well, hi there, I'm Noah Bradley. This is Handmade House TV. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk about stone houses, about building your own stone house in today's world. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about stone houses, about building your own stone house today. Uh, I've actually gotten a few uh, emails with asking the same question here recently, and I thought that um, thought that it's a good question. It's one that I could best answer in a video, and so here goes. But a few people have expressed an interest in building a solid stone home, just like they were built a uh, hundred to a thousand years ago, and they wanted to know whether or not my Stone Mason Academy course, available over at handmadehouses.com, uh, covered the construction of of, uh, of the of building a solid stone home today. And that's the reason for this long-winded video is in order to tell you that uh, what I tell them. And in, in some regards, yes, indeed, it does. The, the, uh, I, have, I have had the privilege of restoring and uh, working on and even replicating uh, vintage solid stone homes. Uh, and I have a great love and appreciation for stone work. It's the reason why I created the Stonemason Academy. I'm the only local builder I know of who has ever had a full-time uh, team of, of dedicated stonemasons in order to handle the amount of stonework I came my way. We've got a, we've got a niche, we've got a way of, of laying stone that anyone can lay and it's breathtakingly beautiful, far more attractive than what the majority of of uh, stonemasons and stonework that you see going on today is, and if you want to learn a craft in order to build your own home, uh, to do hands-on labor in order to make it more attractive and save yourself a ton of money, uh, stone masonry is the way to go. And so when someone expresses a desire to me that they want to build a solid stone home, and a, a tip of the hat to you, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to do. And so in the Stonemason Academy, I teach you how to build a, a solid stone wall, uh, whether or not you want to do just the face of your fireplace or the, or the chimney or the foundation, or you want to do an, uh, a, an addition off of your log cabin uh, built out of stone. It, it, is, it is the techniques that you want to be able to do it. In order to build a solid stone home, uh, the way they were all built is basically you build a stone wall on the outside of the home and you're building a stone home on the a stone wall on the inside of the home, a wall that's typically two feet thick, sometimes as much as close to three, but that's extremely rare. But anyway, you're building two of them and what you're doing is you're filling in between the two walls with stone and every once in a while you're putting a connector stone, one a stone that would appear on the outside of the home and on the inside of the home, which ties these two walls uh, together and creates yourself a solid stone home. Eh? So, uh, stone homes are relatively maintenance free. They're breathtakingly attractive. They're pr appraised extremely high in value. Uh, there's not a single termite in the world that's gonna eat your stone home. Uh, it is, it is, if you're going to build your own home, it's extremely cost effective. Uh, you can gather your own stone for free and you can lay it, you know, your labors for free. If you're doing it yourself, the only thing you're paying for is a little bit of mortar that goes between the stones. So it's, it's cost effective. It lasts forever. It's fireproof. It's bulletproof. It's bug proof. Uh, but there's there's an issue with it and there's a problem with solid stone homes. Uh, the first one is that A, you're gonna be battling build, building inspectors because very few people build solid stone homes anymore. So so you've got you've got that issue there. Uh, but typically if you build it according to the specs of your particular code in your particular area, which is which holds basically true to historical perspectives. I guess they figured out if something lasts for hundreds of years that it must be the right way of doing it. So I think that most of the code requires that the walls be two foot thick, which uses a tremendous amount of stone, admittedly, while you're building the project. But the real the real downside to building a solid stone home, the real, the real challenge with building a stone home and getting it to pass inspection is the fact that all, all homes need 
somewhat of a cavity, uh, a, an exterior wall to protect you from the weather outside and an interior wall that gives you all of the beauty and comfort of home. Uh, and in between these two layers of, of your home, uh, you have, you need to be, put, be able to put insulation in there and you need to be able to put plumbing in there. You need to be able to put electric wiring in there. And if you're, if you want a home of the tech age, you got all those other utilities and whatever else that, that goes in there, central heating and air conditioning, um, cable, uh, uh, internet, uh, wire. And, uh, so that's, that's the reason why so many homes today, almost all of them being built are stick built. And that is because they, they, they create this cavity space. Uh, and when it comes to log cabin, we fortunately have a cavity space with all of the chinking. Um, but also logs, uh, have our insulation. They're not only interior wall and exterior wall, uh, but they, but wood itself is a great insulator. Stone is a lousy insulator. Uh, basically the coal just moves right through it. And it's also, it's also pretty cruddy as far as being a, a vapor barrier. And that is that the moisture tends to, to get in there and between the rocks or whatever else, it's a lot of little pieces that make up a stone home. Uh, in those cavities, insects tend to get into it. Uh, snakes get into it. Uh, that's, that's the biggest complaint I've ever had from people that have historic stone homes is they're tired of the snakes getting in there because the snakes are drawn to stone homes that because of those crevices, because the sun heats the stones up and gets them very warm and snakes love to recline on them because the bugs will crawl in all the cracks and the snakes love to feed off the bugs. And uh, so there's, there's, a, there's, there, there's that issue as well. Uh, also stone homes tend to be because they are, they tend to be a, a, always a little bit cooler than the environment. Uh, they tend to draw uh, moisture and uh, moisture continually setting on a home uh, tends to draw in the potential of mold or mildew. And uh, typically there's a, there's, a, there's a little bit of a aroma in a solid stone home. And I think it's that earthiness, uh, but it might be a little bit of, of mildew going on as well. It, it's not very uncommon in, in stone homes. You definitely want to do a lot of uh, gutters on the house to drain the water away, uh, a lot of grading of the property in order that water flows away so that the stone is not exposed to any more moisture than what it, what it needs to be if you're... Uh, considering going with a with a solid stone home, so the sh the short wind of it is because of all of these issues, uh, because of the challenge of of building a solid home, because of the amount of rock, because of this, because of that. Uh, uh, as I cover in the Stone Mason Academy, whenever I've done a stone addition off of a off of a particular structure, and I will go ahead and I will frame up a wall. Uh, and uh, out of using nice new modern lumber. And that wall serves uh, two different purposes. For one thing, it creates that cavity space that is so needed for insulation and, and uh, modern day utilities. It also creates a wonderful uh, uh, surface that guides me in exactly creating level walls, on, uh, plumb walls on the outside of the, of the home. Uh, it acts as a great backup to hold stones in place, to fill in place. And uh, I guess it, it is a tempting, most modern builders that were doing something like this, uh, they would be gluing on fake stone, uh, one inch thick or something to the house. And, but what I do is I put, I build basically that one wall of the two walls that you would get in a solid stone house. I build a one wall. Uh, typically, it's 10 to 12 inches thick is what I build on the outside. And and uh, and then I have that cavity in the middle. I can choose to go inside of the home and I can build a stone wall on the inside against the cavity. Uh, or I can uh, uh, typically, uh, for cost, cost efficiency or whatever else, I'll put up drywall or trim or paneling on the inside. And to be honest with you, uh, the I'm thinking whether or not it's every, but the, anyway, it's vast majority of stone homes that I have seen, uh, they do not have stone on the inside that's visible. Yeah, I can think of one example that I restored where the stone was visible on the inside. It was a stone kitchen. 
uh, from the 1700s uh, that, of all things, Dolly Madison's grandmother owned. Uh, but for the vast majority of stone homes, they have stone on the outside, and then when they get on the inside, typically they would plaster over the stone uh, on the inside, and that would be to seal out any infiltration that's coming in and also to give the home a more refined uh, look on the inside. I have done stone on the inside and I've done stone on the outside and I've done a combination of both. But So the answer to the question is, does the Stone Mason Academy teach you how to build a solid stone home? And the answer to that is yes, because it teaches you how to build stone walls and uh, basically all there is is a connector stone between the two and, and you got it. Uh, but it, it goes into more detail in the way that I chose to build them uh, because you end up with just as attractive of a home, just as strong of a home, but you conquer all of the issues from bug infiltration to insulation to mechanicals to snake infiltration it looks exactly the same. No one would know the difference inside or out, uh, whether or not it is a solid stone home. It will, even if, even if the worst case scenario happened and the house burned down, uh, the outside stone wall would stay in place. If your house said, if you built a house the way the handmade house is built with stone foundation, a stone chimney and a stone, um, addition like I tell you to do and the worst case scenario happened and a, just an engulfing fire struck the home and everything else the foundation would still be there the chimney would still be there and the stone addition would still be there you would just need to do another frame up on the inside of that stone uh, stone wall that you have and you go right back to where you were before you could probably build right off the foundation um, and you could probably uh, use reuse the chimney as well so it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, I hope that, hope that answers the question. Uh, I hope you'll consider um, coming over to Handmade Houses and signing up for the Stonemason Academy. It turned out amazingly well. Of all of the courses I did, it was, it was, uh, it's the last one that I've completed. I'm still working on the Timber Frame Academy. Sorry about the delay, guys. Uh, but the Stonemason Academy, I was, uh, it was the last one. So I, th I think I get better with each course that I create. And stone made, there is no other course out there at all that teaches you how to do amazing stonework. And it really does make the project. Every project I've ever built, whether it's log cabin or timber frame or stone or stick built, they all look so much better because of even a little bit of stonework put in it. And stonework is a joy to work with. It lasts forever. It's an amazing skill to have if you're looking for a career. Uh, there is an infinite demand for quality stone masons. Stone masons make really good money. They enjoy, they enjoy their work. It's uh, it's a it's a much easier pace. There's no power equipment involved in it. Um, it's just a, a, an enjoyment to work with. And I hope you'll consider uh, doing some stone work on your future place, future property, future home, your future all around there. Uh, in the uh, Stonemason Academy, I, I teach you how to build an arch fireplace, and also uh, I demonstrate uh, how to build stone columns along your driveway, which are two excellent projects that even if you do those two, your home will go up in a value and uh, you'll, you'll appreciate so much more. When you go into a home, the, the centerpiece of a home is your fireplace. Uh, every time anyone comes into my home, they always, their eyes are drawn to the fireplace. They go stand by, even if it's in the summertime, people congregate around the fire. And for you to be able to have a beautiful stone fireplace, uh, one that you can brag about that, that you built and um, is, is an amazing thing. And one extra thing that I tend to do is that I start gathering rocks for it, gathering stones for it, and I, and I gather them everywhere. When I work on a project on a job site, I will gather one when I'm taking a, a road trip or whatever else, I'm, I'm known for picking up a stone to remember from that particular location. And so when I enjoy my fireplace, when I sit back in the wintertime and have a nice, wonderful, cozy fire going, it's a joy to see all of the memory stones that I have in place on my fireplace. And uh, 
uh, I hope that I hope that you will consider that. Anyway, I'm sorry for rambling on today. It was it's great to talk with you. Thank you so much for your support, uh, for all of your um, your emails. I'm sorry I can't get to emails like I used to. The they come in tidal waves, and I just can't I can't get through them. And uh, but I do my best to answer them whenever possible. And if there if I get a few of them that are similar, then I'll post a video here and answer to all of you guys. So let's I'll wrap it up uh, if you're building a if you're considering building a stone solid stone house the stone mason academy can help you greatly um, I and uh, my tip of the hat and I admire you for the desire to want to build one but I ask you to consider seriously this hybrid model of mine it will cut your material by two-thirds it'll cut your labor by at least a half um, and it'll make for a much more comfortable yet as just as solid and beautiful home as what the traditional method has been. So um, that's it. You take care. Bye now.